my name is Don Lickwig, and I purchased a 2012 Volvo S60 through the Volvo Overseas Delivery Program. I knew that I wanted to buy uh, another Volvo as I purchased my first one, um, and the salesman at the time that I purchased the first car had mentioned the Overseas Delivery Program, and I'd kept that in the back of my mind for a number of years. And when it was time to purchase a new car, I did a little bit of research on it before I even went and talked with the salesman at the dealership. So when I showed up at the dealership, I, I kind of picked the car that I wanted, and we went and did a test drive and decided that really was what I wanted to do. When I got out of the car, um, we were looking at it, and the salesman said to me, you know, you can pick one of those up in Sweden. And I said, you know what, that's what I want to do. So he told me to go home and think about it and give him a call, and I called him a few days later and said, this is what I wanted to do, come down and we'll fill out the paperwork and get it ready to go. And so that's what I did. And we, I wrote him a deposit check and we filled out all the paperwork deciding what color I wanted and what engine I wanted and all those features and he sent it in. And we waited a few weeks and we got um, word back from Volvo that the date I wanted wasn't available but how about the next week? And we said good and not long after that I got notification from Volvo that they had accepted the order of my car and let's start planning the trip. So I called into the Volvo um, travel agency that they had and they kind of worked through all of the details about booking the flights, when I wanted to go, um, helping with uh, arrange the hotel room, anything else that I wanted to do while I was there, kind of went through all of that and then we waited again until the, as the car was being built and about a month later I had to pay my, the final amount on the car and then I got the tickets in the mail a couple days later. So we flew out on a Wednesday, took my parents through Chicago into Stockholm and then into Gothenburg where Volvo picked us up at the airport and dropped us off downtown at a really nice hotel. We got to spend that first day wandering around the lovely city of Gothenburg, experiencing the waterfront and all of the museums that they have there. And the next morning, Volvo picked us up at the hotel and took us to the factory delivery center where we really got the VIP treatment, um, taking delivery of the car, going through all the features of the car, how to drive the car in Europe, anything we might need to change once we get back. They sent us out on the test track where we got to do a couple of laps of seeing how that was going to work before taking the car out on the road. And then they um, served us a really nice Swedish lunch in their cafeteria of uh, Swedish meatballs and potatoes and lingonberries and desserts. And then we got to take a tour of the factory in the little train that they take you through all of the different buildings that they have there, learning about where all the materials come from, um, how all the robots work, and all the people that work in the factory, and then they let us go. So we headed out from the factory with this uh, new car and a, a little bit of apprehension about what we later had for us, and we wandered around Gothenburg for a little while, and then we actually had plans to take the ferry into Germany. So we took, um, with help of the Volvo Travel people, we were able to take our car on an overnight ferry and the next morning we were in Germany. So we spent almost a week in Germany driving around starting in the north in Hamburg and Hamlin, working our way south to the Rhineland, seeing the castles and taking river cruises. We ended our trip in Bavaria, stopping in the medieval town of Rotenburg. Uh, and then we flew home from Frankfurt, dropping off the car in Frankfurt. And about a month later, I got a car call from Willis Volvo telling me that my car was in and I could come and pick it up. And I've been driving it ever since.